This video covers Power SDR KE9NS version 2.8, and it's about this video is about um, why the uh, S meter over here does not always match your pan adapter. Now we've got the dB number here, we've got the dB number up here on the meter, and then I've got an S unit uh, meter I, a scale I've added to the right side, uh, which in this case you can see the S9 matches up with the negative 73 over on the left side and the way you set that up you open up setup display set your max to minus 19 step to 6 the minimum will be automatically adjusted when I right click uh, when I when I right click on this down here it turns it, it turns pink when I right click blue when I left click left click adjust the brightness of the waterfall right adjust the the position of the uh, the noise floor and uh, and then again you can you, you've got these sliders here so that I can adjust where I want that when I do a right click where is that noise floor going to be and the same thing with the brightness of the waterfall I can adjust to make that bright you know the brightness dark or or, or very bright when I do the automatic adjust by right and left clicking on this button here anyway so uh, now if you're looking over here and I'm seeing an S5 on the meter let's get away from that signal and you can see the bandpass here in red and I'm getting an S5 but I'm clearly not seeing an S5 over here well what's going on well I've got it on average right now I've got the waterfall and the pan both on average if I click this now I'm I'm averaging the pan adapter to make it really readable uh, but I'm not averaging the waterfall and that's why you're seeing a lot of these specs because I'm able to now see the signal a little bit better by turning off the averaging in the waterfall. Now if I click it again I've turned off everything and you can clearly see now the signals are jumping up to around uh, an S3. Well I'm getting an S5 over here. Why is that Why is that not adding up? Well and then you can see these other uh, CW signals just going crazy. Uh, the reason is that this S meter here is like a sum total of, of all the noise, of all the signals in this, this little uh, uh, passband area there. So I, if I narrow this down, close it, close it into the zero mark, you could see now the noise floor changed. See, now it's, it's matching up with what I've got as a peak value here. See, so now it's about three. When I, when I close that down, then it starts to match up. When I pull it open, I'm I'm clearly picking up more noise. I'm hearing a lot more noise in the speakers, and then therefore the the S unit meter goes up as well. And now this is crazy. So turn the averaging on. I like to leave averaging off for the waterfall, so I can see the signals better. And if you turn the averaging off on the waterfall, then if I if I transmit a call sign into the waterfall, you'll be able to see it a lot better. You, you really can't see transmitted images in the waterfall if you if you're averaging the waterfall, it, it has to be uh, the the data in the waterfall has to be more raw. So uh, that's why you're seeing a difference in the signals. Is is this uh, your passband being way open? Is is you're you're seeing the sum total in the noise floor here? So I'm getting an S5 when you're clearly not seeing an S5 down here, but you're hearing an S5. That's that's what this is really showing you is that you're hearing an S5 and and you can clearly see it if I turn it off and then I close it down then they'll match but otherwise they're not gonna match and that's the reason